Do you ever ask yourself, what's it all about? What's it all for if you don't even have a cinematic title? First things first, go ahead, open up Motion. If you don't get the project browser, you can push Command, Option, N. After that, go ahead and select the Final Cut title. Then you can set your preset to 4K or 1080, whichever you prefer, your frame rate to whatever you like, and your duration, I'm gonna recommend that you set it to 10 seconds. After that, go ahead and push Open. From here, go ahead, select the title background and the type text here and delete that. Scroll on down to your text tool, click anywhere in the viewer, and just type in the title that you want. So I'm gonna just type in cinematic title. After that, go to your inspector and set the size to something like 200, or if you're in a 1080 timeline, um, 100. Then you can go ahead and go down to the monospace options, check that box, and then find the all caps option, check that box, and set the all cap size to a full 100. Unless you prefer the 80% look, that's totally up to you. After that, I'm gonna adjust the placement of this by going to the alignment, setting that to the center, go to our properties, we're gonna set our anchor point to something like 75, and that should center it with this particular size. Then we're gonna go to our position and reset that parameter. So now our text should be dead center of our screen. Once we have that, we can get into the animation. So go ahead, select your cinematic title, go on up to behaviors, and I'm gonna recommend you choose from the text basic options. There are a lot of other options you can work with, but the text basic is very minimalistic and looks great. From here, you can choose any of these to your liking, but I'm going to select the blur in. Now, if I play back, you can see how fast it's popping in, and we definitely don't want it that fast. So select your blur in, move forward about four seconds because we want this to be a very slow drawn out title and push O that will extend it out to the full four seconds after that go ahead go up to the controls and you will see all these additional options for the blur in what we want to affect is the direction which is forwards we actually want the title to bring in the letters at a random placement so to do that go ahead change it from forwards to random so now the titles are going to appear in at random and if you don't like the letters that it's choosing at first you can actually change the random seed and get a totally different look now let's go ahead and duplicate this with command d drag the blur in copy to the end for the last four seconds and then go ahead and change the sequencing from from to two which is kind of weird to say so we now have this nice blur in and this nice blur out after that if we push shift m at the end of our initial blur in we can double click that change the type from standard down to build in optional this will now give your user the option of animating in or not and we can do the same for the end so we'll just double click change it from type standard to build out optional Perfect, just like that, we now have this beautiful cinematic title that we can drop into Final Cut Pro. So to do that, go ahead and push Command S and that will allow you to publish it. Then we can change it from new template to something like cinematic blur title, just like that. And you can drop it in whatever category you like. I'm going to do it in my tutorials category. Once that is done publishing, it will be automatically added into Final Cut Pro. Now that we're in Final Cut Pro, I've got this beautiful shop for my friends over at ArtGrid, and I have an affiliate link. They just have some really incredible stock footage. We're gonna go ahead and drop in our title on top of this beautiful shot. So to do that, go ahead, locate your titles here, and we are going to scroll down till you find the category that you placed it in, and then we are going to drag it onto our timeline, just like that. So we now have this beautiful title built into Final Cut Pro. If you liked this tutorial, I have a strong feeling you're gonna love this tutorial about recreating the filmic look within Final Cut Pro. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next one.